24 The Wound of a Magician That day our hope was based on surviving again, as we had done in all the battles we had had for a long time. When the Big Eight called for an open war against the Dark Ones something in my chest stirred, of that I have no doubt, and I doubted whether to join, many did, but in the end there was no alternative, after all there will be no future if we don't win today. Beside me my white brothers were nervous as always, after all who could be calm when facing death? I looked around for our leader, Archmage Danea, trying to find something to allay my fears, but there were too many of us and my gaze couldn't find her at the front of the army. I could feel how my trembling and sweaty hands kept waiting for the horns to blare warning that the fight was beginning. At that moment I was grateful that I was not a pyromancer, because Fenril the Flaming One was leading the 1st Battalion along with the Red Wizards. Waiting for the sound of the bronzes was something that was going to overturn my heart as it had happened every time, I already felt my uncontrolled heart beat with increasing fury, I would have liked to see confidence in my brothers, but there was none that was firm as a rock, none. From one moment to another the ground began to rumble, it was the advance of the enemy. We looked at each other hoping that at any moment everything would start, at that moment the voice of the captain broke our doubt with a call to draw. Then the metallic sound of the horns burst onto the battlefield with its undeniable force and we all understood that the end had come, I gulped and began to enchant my sword that shone at the spell on its blade. The sky was covered with projectiles of fire from both sides like comets, from one side to the other magic flew everywhere, we raised barriers to protect the other captains who came behind us. The crossfire was terrible when our battalion advanced, the pyromancers were engaged in a terrible combat where they fell more dark than magicians. The white forces advanced among the pyromancers, healing the wounded. I was healing a pyromancer whose arm had been bitten off by a dark man when an explosion threw us all several meters away. I wiped the sweat and dust from my face and looking around I found several of my companions dead. I tried to get up and go back to the fight, but the explosion had torn off my leg and I didn't even feel it, I was just running through a terrible heat. I tried to get up but I only found chaos and destruction, my brothers were falling and in the distance the captain was dragging hundreds of dark ones behind each sword of his sword, there was hope, I died, but there was hope after all. The explosions on the battlefield shook the ground as the cold of the end of my life ran through my body like a freezing bath, I'm not sure what I see at this moment. I don't know if it is because death embraces me or it is arcane art of some teacher, but the sky is dyed black by clouds bathed in midnight. Is it death that comes looking for me? The black clouds are covering everything and rays are descending from the sky, destroying those who are on earth. Have the gods taken pity on us? In my final blurred vision I see a dark energy that grows and spreads across the battlefield destroying everything in its path, I close my eyes looking for a last breath of hope, I hope that the gods receive me in their bed, I feel nothing and my vision is lost in a blurred shadow, it is the end. A white wizard during the oblivion. If you like our work, do not forget to like it and subscribe to receive notifications of our next stories. If you want to support our editorial project, you can follow us on Patreon, where you will find our project in more details, or support directly through flow in the description links.